Shalom everyone, Rabbi Goodson here, how are you? Okay, um, I know I've got a few people that have asked me why aren't I doing any more live videos and the answer is quite simple. My phone won't let me do it anymore. Uh, evidently I've dropped it enough times that it's decided to throw a temper tantrum and not let me do a live video. So I'm going to have to do it this way until I get a new phone. Um, but that, that aside, uh, it'll just, we'll just have to accept this way until I do get a new phone. Okay, uh, I don't know if, I don't know if any of you have been keeping track, I'm sure you have, of what happened in New York a few days ago. The New York legislature and Governor Cuomo signed into law a bill allowing for an abortion a murder the murder of a child that is getting ready to be delivered a fully formed human being and they can murder it I mean I'm sorry folks well I don't I'm not sorry no I'm not but abortion is murder. No matter how you want to look at it, it's the taking of an individual human life. I mean, I even got a problem with the death penalty in many cases. I mean, there are some crimes in which I do believe that the death penalty applies. But even then, it should be applied only in the most extreme cases and I and I mean really the most extreme cases so if I'm if I feel that way about the death penalty why would I support abortion you know the Bible says in Jeremiah before you were in your mother's womb I knew you before you were formed, I, knew, I called you. That tells me that from the moment of conception, the moment the sperm enters the egg, that is the moment of conception. That is the moment in which life has been sparked and has started. And as such, that bunch of cells is a human being. It's not a dog. It's not a horse. It's not a cat. It's not a chimpanzee. It's a human being. And it is unfathomable to me. I, I, I have a hard time wrapping my mind around this idea. I have a hard time wrapping my mind around the murder of innocent people like my parents. Of what did they do? You know, I, I just don't get it. I'm sorry, I don't. I mean, it, you someone smarter than me is going to have to is going to have to explain that one okay and if i can't if, it, if it's hard for me to accept the murder of innocent people who are already born for no reason i find it even more mind boggling of why you would murder a child that hasn't even done anything that's still in the womb. You know, you hear these from the from the from the from the women. My body, my choice. No, it is not your body. You have another individual inside your body. You are the protector of your body. You know, I remember a while back I was reading something. That said that used to been the most dangerous place for a human being to be is in a battlefield. 
where you are in danger of getting shot at at every second of the day. And they said, now, the most dangerous place in the world is inside a woman's womb. Do you know, I remember I was, <clears throat> I had a friend that, uh, that, uh, that his wife was pregnant. And they showed me the sonogram of their unborn child. And it was one of those new ones, okay, where you could actually see the baby. Okay? I mean, not just a big, unimaginable, blurry image. We're talking actual footage where you could see the face, where you can see the arms, where you can see everything. And the, the, the doctor was going to draw some of the embryonic fluid, you know, when they test it uh, for whatever. It showed, this was, this, was, this was as it was happening, it showed the baby recoiling in fear to the other side of the, of the womb. And when the father said, hold on there, My, it was a, they found out it was a boy, hold on son, he's not trying to hurt you, calm down. Do you know what? At the very sound of my friend's voice, the child in the womb calmed down. So they are registering, their synapsis is registering that something may be wrong. So, New York, how can you do this? I'm going to tell you right now, the judgment of Yahweh Elohim is upon you. Governor Cuomo, I'm a rabbi. And I am hereby telling you right now, you had better reverse your decision. Because if you're not, the judgment of Yahweh Elohim will be upon you. I am hereby declaring that because of your abomination in the murder of innocent children, you've got the blood of innocent children upon your hands now. And the Bible says in Proverbs, in the book of Proverbs, and Yahweh hates, another, another translation, Yahweh loathes the hands with innocent blood on them. You, Andrew Como, you, New York State Legislature, and you, the entire state of New York, your hands are dripping in the blood of innocent children. California, you're the same way. All of the states that have made pro-abortion laws, your hands are dripping and are covered with the blood of the innocent. And the judgment of Yahweh Elohim is upon you. And you Christian ministers that are going to bless the temples of Melech, and that's what Planned Parenthood is. It is the, the cult of Melech, or Molech. You know what that did? They sacrificed children to Molech. They threw the children into the fire as a sacrifice to Molech. You know, I did a video just before the midterms. And it, and I, where I described where there, in upstate New York, there is actually a place in upstate New York with the statue of Molech. And they actually take the remains of the children that have been aborted and they take them up there and they put them in the fire as worship. This was admitted to by a worker of a Planned Parenthood in New York City. That they took the remains and they actually put them and sacrificed them to Molech. 
you are idolaters. You are worshiping. Uh, you're worshiping a heathen god, and Yahweh Elohim will not forget you. And as a rabbi, and I'm asking everybody who believes in Yahweh Elohim to join me in this, and we're going to we're going to do this. Baruch Adonai Elohim. Baruch Adonai Yahweh, Baruch Yeshua, Ben David, Ben Perez, Ben Uda, Ben Yaakov, Ben Isaac, Ben Avrahim, ben, ben Adin, Ben Yahweh. Heavenly Father Yahweh, we call upon you to protect the unborn all over the nation, but especially in, this, in the state in the state of New York, Heavenly Father. New York has gone fully to the worship of Molech. You commanded King Saul to, a wipe, to wipe out the Amalekites because of what they were doing to the children. You commanded King Saul to wipe out everybody. Man, woman, child, cattle, goats, whatever. That nothing was to remain. Because of their abomination to you by, by, by sacrificing the children to Molech. And so Heavenly Father Yahweh, we know there are righteous people in New York. We know that there are people in New York that abhor this. And we ask you, Heavenly Father, do not hold them accountable, Heavenly Father, because of the simple fact is they abhor it. And they are against it. But Heavenly Father, they seem to be outnumbered 200 to 1. And as your rabbi, Heavenly Father, as a servant that sees this, I am calling upon my fellow believers I'm calling upon them right now that we are lifting those children that are unborn to you. Take their souls that you have placed in their body. Heavenly Father, they are the innocent. They do not deserve this. Oh, to have another King Saul. Oh, to have another King Saul. Heavenly Father, this is an abomination. Help us to stop it, Heavenly Father. I call upon all my brothers and sisters to rise up. We have allowed the heathen enough. It is time for us, you in New York, You in New York, stand up. Stop being the silent majority, or in this case now, the silent minority. Stand up. Overthrow that government. Get rid of Cuomo and reverse that law. President Trump, do more than this. This we pray in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Amin and Amin. People, if we don't do something about it, we will also serve, we will also suffer the judgment of Yahweh Elohim because we have silently sat down. Get off of Facebook and do something about it. That is why I am composing a letter right now. A letter to Andrew Cuomo and the New York State Legislature. I haven't finished it yet. It will be finished soon. And I will place it on Facebook and on my social medias. And brothers and sisters, I need you to sign that. I'm also starting well, I won't get into that just yet. This is an abomination, brothers and sisters. This is just like the Amalekites. 
we are allowing the worship of Molech and we're do it, letting them do it. It's time we take action. It's time we be like King Saul. Shalom and blessings.